4.4 Types of Programming Languages Programming languages can be categorized as high-level languages and low-level languages. Humans find it easier to write code in high-level languages because they are simpler and more like the regular human languages, making them easier to understand and use. Computer, however, work best with machine code which is a set of simple instructions in zeros and ones that tell the computer exactly what to do. That's why every high-level language code is translated into machine code so the computer can understand and run it. This way the programming becomes easier for people while the computer can still run the code. High-level languages A high-level language uses human language style words. These could be English words that we recognize and use day to day. For example, if, while, for, input, some, print, etc. Examples of high level languages include C, C sharp, C, Python, Java, JavaScript, etc. A program written in a high level language is portable, meaning you can write it on one computer and run it on another. Low-level languages Low-level languages are programming languages that are close to the computer hardware. They are harder for humans to read and understand but offer more control over the computer's operations. There are two main types of low-level languages. First one is called the machine code and second one is the assembly language. Well, now let's discuss about the machine code. A computer executes machine code which is in binary. If you write a program in a high-level language, it needs to be converted into machine code before it can execute. Different computers may have different machine code. Machine code is non-portable. You can write a program in machine code and it may not run on a different computer. For example, a program written in a machine code for a Windows PC will not run on a Macintosh computer without translation or emulation. Okay, so now let's discuss about assembly language. Assembly language is an in-between stage between high-level languages and machine code. It uses short, simple commands called mnemonics that are easier for humans to understand than the machine code. Each high-level language statement is converted into assembly language instructions, which are then converted into machine code. A single statement in high-level language may require several instructions in assembly language. For example, in Python, you can write a simple one-line program to print Hello World. However, in assembly language, the same program requires several lines of code. Well, now let's compare high-level and low-level languages. So, high-level la languages are easier for humans to understand, read, write, and amend. Easier for humans to debug code. Portable, machine-independent. It must be converted into a low-level language before it can be run. One statement can represent many low-level instructions. And the last point is cannot directly manipulate the hardware. Now let's see the low-level languages. So more difficult for humans to understand, read, write, and amend. Harder for humans to debug code. Not portable, machine-dependent. Machine code does not need conversion. Several instructions are needed for each high-level language statement. And the last one is can directly manipulate the hardware, for example, writing to a specific memory location. Well, now we are done with the topic. Let's have a short quiz. So question number one, what are the two types of low-level languages? So number one is machine code and number two is assembly language. Give three examples of high-level languages. So, Python, C, C++, C Sharp, etc. What does assembly language use to represent the code? So, assembly language uses mnemonics to represent the code. And the last question is, uh, which languages are easy for computers but hard for the humans? So, the answer is low-level languages.